Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. When you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way to maintain momentum and utilize your sprint ability when the path is clear. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It would be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed. Arrogance. The slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Ah! 
You must be busy. I understand. Such wild swings will give your enemy an opening and send you to an early death. When you have been exposed to the guards, break their line of sight and try to hide from them. Stay hidden until you are. Away with you. for doing that. <clears throat> you ever see someone do that before? I have. Now why is he doing that? to hurt himself. When he does, I won't help him. <clears throat> Leave this place. Leave, peasant, before I make you. I only wish my 
my sons were half as brave as they. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. My family is sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? I beg of you. I beg of you just a few coins, please. Is that right to move? Please, That's can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. No, you don't understand. Yes. Yes.
time I leave here, I'm attacked and forced to flee. I'm simply not the fighter I once was. Would you be willing to see me safely to my destination? God Almighty. Yeah. <laughs> 